getting started with Dash Robots. Part 1, Dash's Body. On the side of your Dash Robot, you'll find the power button that you press to turn it off and on. On the other side is the hole where we plug it in to recharge its batteries. On the top of Dash, you'll see four buttons, a large white button three orange buttons labeled 1, 2, and 3 that you can code. On the front dash you can see two distance sensors and an infrared sensor that lets dash see other dash robots. On the back dash also has a distance sensor. Dash has three ears with these small holes that contain microphones. Underneath dash he has two wheels that rotate. Dash's head is also able to move left, right, up and down. Dash has a number of different lights on the front and sides. And on the back, Dash's mouth is this large speaker here. Part 2. Making Dash Work Step 1. Turn Dash on. Open the Blockly app. Step 3. Connect to your dash. Choose the correct dash. Part 3. Dash's app. To program Dash, you're going to use the Blockly app. Along the left-hand side of the app are several categories of blocks that do different things. Under Start are different ways that you can get code to begin working with Dash. Underneath Start is Drive. All of these help Dash move around in the world. Next is the Look section that lets Dash move his head left, right, up and down and towards a voice. Then you can control Dash's lights in this section. Here you can add sounds, either your own or some of the pre-recorded sounds. The purple section are animations like greetings and dances that Dash can do. Control lets you control the code and how it works. Underneath that are variables that let you do math with Dash. And finally there's this, an accessory section that lets you work with the Dash launcher. To build code in Blockly you're going to drag the different blocks into the workstation and connect them to other blocks like this. If you change your mind about using a certain block, you can drag it to the bottom right hand corner of the screen and a trash icon will appear. Some blocks allow you to change the variables within them, such as this forward block. If I tap on the variable, I can change how fast or slow Dash moves. And I can also change how far he moves from 10 centimeters all the way up to 100. When I've finished, I tap the arrow button to confirm my choice. When you're ready to try your code, you're going to tap the triangle play button to run through the code. Dash will play the code from top to bottom. In this example, you'll see Dash is going to move forward 50 centimeters, then backwards 50 centimeters. Part 4 Looking after Dash. Don't use Dash on the table. 